everyone. Welcome to Biomatic, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I am Shuman, your very own Badapandi. And here I am going to talk about the phosphodiester bond. Phosphodiester bond is comparable to the peptide bonds. Peptide bond polymerize multiple amino acids into polypeptide chains. Similarly, phosphodiester bonds polymerize multiple nucleotides into nucleic acid chain. DNA and RNA are composed of nucleotides that are linked to one another in a chain by chemical bonds called the ester bonds. And these bonds are between the sugar base of one nucleotide and the phosphate group of the adjacent nucleotide. The sugar is the 3' end and the phosphate is the 5' end of each nucleotide. The phosphate group attached to the 5' carbon of the sugar on one nucleotide forms a phosphodiester bond with a free hydroxyl on the 3' carbon of the next nucleotide. As you can see, the chemical reaction to form phosphodiester bond is a condensation reaction, which means it releases a water molecule. Now, why this name uh, is phosphodiester bond? An ester bond is the bond between an alcohol group and a carboxylic acid group formed by the elimination of a molecule of water. The term phospho comes into play as it involves the hydroxyl group of the DNA backbone phosphate. And the term di means 2. Each nucleotide forms two ester bonds to construct the polymer chain. See the phosphodiester bonds I have highlighted in green here for you and the bases are highlighted in blue. So this is all for now guys. For further information on structural biology, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our video, hit the like button and if you find it helpful, please share with your friends. You know that so far we have uploaded videos that focus only on the conceptual aspects of bioinformatics. But make no mistake, we are not going to stop here. We are going to upload a lot of technical videos that describes the use of computational tools and programs for various bioinformatics analysis. If you learn these techniques, I can promise you, you can address specific biological problems yourselves. So for the upcoming updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.